Russia needs new shells. That is why Putin hurries to see Kim Jong-un. Russian President Vladimir Putin plans to visit North Korea and Vietnam in the near future. Ukrainian media outlet Focus found out what kind of support Pyongyang and Hanoi can provide to the Kremlin at this stage of a full-scale war with Ukraine. Russian media reported that Putin plans to visit the North Korea and Vietnam soon, citing diplomatic sources. The fact that the visit to Pyongyang will take place and that it is now actively preparing was confirmed by Russian ambassador to the North Korea, Alexander Matsegora. As is known, along with the rapid deterioration of relations with South Korea, Pyongyang set a course to, as Kim Jong-un once put it, to further strengthen solidarity with countries opposed to the United States and the strategy of Western hegemony. Actually, among such partners, first of all was Russia, which the North Korean leader, who rarely travels abroad, visited in September 2023. It is very significant that at that time, neither side published the details of the agreements between Moscow and Pyongyang. The most widespread information in the media space is that the North Korea supplies Russia with its shells and missiles in exchange for military technical assistance in creating missile programs. Officially, Pyongyang and Moscow have repeatedly denied this. Meanwhile, experts with whom Focus spoke note that not only the missile and missile case will be on the negotiating agenda between Putin and Kim Jong-un. The key issue that remains unresolved for Russia is ammunition. The Russian Federation does not receive everything in this regard from the North Korea, and the quality of ammunition, according to information from various sources, remains extremely poor. It is around this that key discussions will most likely take place during the visit by Putin. That is, on the one hand, quality, on the other, quantity, and, of course, price. Russia, in turn, will offer certain services to prevent famine in the North Korea and solve other pressing problems that the dictatorship there faces. On a permanent basis, notes Igor Semivolos, director of the Center for Middle Eastern Studies, in a conversation with Focus. Highways for Russians on motorcycles to hell in Ukraine. The soldiers of the 79th Separate Air Assault Torrid Brigade of Ukraine instantly stopped a group of Russian invaders who decided to break through their positions. Ukrainian media outlet Obzorevatel reports this. It is noted that the Russian invaders on motorcycles rushed into this attack and ended up in hell. The video was published on social networks by the brigade's press service. They emphasized that the events took place near the village of Novomikhailovka in the Donetsk region. Drone pilots of the 79th Airborne Brigade are filming a new version of the video for the legendary Highway to Hell, the military noted. It was this track by the rock band ACDC that the defenders accompanied the footage of the defeat of the Russian invaders. According to the director's plan, several Russian invaders boldly race on motorcycles in the direction of our positions, but at the finish line, instead of medals, they receive targeted drops directly on their heads, the military added. In the video, this is exactly what happens. The occupiers burst into the streets on motorcycles, abandoned their vehicles, and tried to conduct a shooting battle. After the first drop, of a Bavovna from a Ukrainian drone, several enemy soldiers hid in the bushes, but death overtook them there too. The film in the genre of tragic comedy is based on real events. Novo Mikhailovka, Donetsk region. Our days added the public relations service of the Turid Brigade. As the publication reported, defenders from the Lyot Brigade of Ukraine showed a film with the codename Gentleman of Fortune. Its main heroes were the occupiers who in Volchansk ran away from precision strikes from FPV drones before they were finally neutralized. Russian troops appear to be fitting makeshift cope cages to motorbikes in an effort to defend against Ukrainian drone attacks. The ad hoc nature of the modifications has drawn mockery and comparisons with the Mad Max films, although anti-drone cages have been used extensively by both sides in the war in Ukraine as well as by the Israeli military in Gaza. The modified motorbikes along with other similarly altered light vehicles seen on the battlefield represent a shift in Russian tactics and suggest Moscow's forces are struggling to find appropriate vehicles.